asteroid Earth impact flattens New York in a simulation exercise by Avon Coron on physics.org. Today's article. This is an image of asteroid Bennu shown in this uh, NASA photograph, December 2nd, 2018 image. After devastating the French Riviera in 2013, destroying Dhaka in 2015, and saving Tokyo in 2017, an international asteroid impact simulation ended Friday, with its latest disaster being in New York. New York in ruins. That's the uh, city where the supposed asteroid impact would have taken place. Despite the uh, simulated eight years of preparation, scientists and engineers tried but failed to deflect the killer asteroid. The exercise has become a regular event among the international community of planetary defense experts. So they failed to deflect the killer asteroid in the exercise. The latest edition began Monday near Washington with the following alert, an asteroid roughly 100 to 300 meters, that's 330 to 1,000 feet in diameter, had been spotted and, according to rough calculations, had a 1% chance of hitting the Earth on April 29, 2027. Now let's remember that uh, the Apophis asteroid is supposed to be coming at us around April 13, 2029. So this is pretty close to uh, the dates of, uh, you know, one year later we would be actually getting the real thing coming at us. Now each day during the conference, some 200 astronomers, engineers, and emergency response specialists received new information, made decisions, and awaited further updates from organizations of the game, organizers of the game, the exercise that is the drill, designed by a NASA aerospace engineer. And from what I had read, read from other articles, this was a tabletop exercise, nothing more than a tabletop exercise. So as fictional months ticked by in the simulation, the probability of the giant space rock, the asteroid crashing into Earth, rose to 10%, and then it rose to 100%. NASA launched the probe in 2021 to examine the threat up close. In December that year, astronomers confirmed it was headed straight to the Denver area and that the western U.S. city would be destroyed. The major space powers the United States, Europe, Russia, and China, and Japan decided to build six kinetic impactors, quote-unquote, kinetic impactors, probes meant to hit the asteroid to change its trajectory. So these probes are, of course, to hit the impact, the asteroid, smash it, that is, smash into the asteroid, and change its trajectory a significant amount, not just to nudge it a little bit, but to change it significantly. It took time to build the impactors and wait for the right launch window. The impacts were set for August 2024. Three impactors managed to hit the asteroid. The main body was deflected, but a smaller fragment broke off and continued on its deadly path, this time towards the eastern United States. Washington considered sending a nuclear bomb to deflect the 60-meter rock, repeating a successful strategy that saved Tokyo last year, but, was, uh, but it was crippled by political disagreements. All that remained was to prepare for impact. With six months to go, experts could only predict that the asteroid was heading to the New York area with two months to go. It's confirmed the city would be destroyed. Evacuation. The asteroid will enter the atmosphere at a blistering 69,000 kilometers per hour, that's 43,000 miles per hour, and explode 15 kilometers, that's 9.3 miles, above Central Park. The energy of the blast will be a thousand times that of the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. A thousand Hiroshimas, can you imagine? It will destroy everything within a 15-kilometer unsurvivable radius. This is what uh, scientists explained. 
Manhattan would be completely razed to the ground. Windows as far as 45 kilometers away will shatter and damage will extend as far out as 68 kilometers from the epicenter. The questions raised by the scenario were endless. Uh, how do authorities evacuate 10 million people? Moving people to safety from hurricanes has shown the, uh, the task's difficulty. And uh, you have to remember that Manhattan and Long Island are islands. How do you move all those people out of those islands? You have to move them through the bridges and uh, through uh, tunnels. And if those aren't enough, you're going to have to put them on ships and take them to the con you know, to, toward the shore of New Jersey, to the continental United States, the mainland. I mean, you can imagine the, 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 the logistics of this. So the questions raised by the scenario were endless. How do authorities evacuate 10 million people? Moving people to safety from hurricanes has shown the task's difficulty. Quote, two months may not be enough time to really evacuate because you're evacuating people who are stuck, who have to rebuild their lives where they're going. And you're going to have fleets of U-Hauls, said Brady Johnson, an angry citizen, in the exercise referring to the rental moving trucks. And who will pay? Who will host those displaced? How will authorities protect everything from nuclear and chemical installations to artwork? How will all how, and how will the citizens behave in the face of an end of the world scenario? If you knew your home was going to be destroyed six months from now and that you weren't going back, would you keep paying your mortgage? asked Victoria Andrews, NASA's Deputy Planetary Defense Officer. Well, we know all the questions to that, the answers, what they are. Participants debated insurance and legal issues at length. The United States did save Denver, but uh, accidentally destroyed New York. In this situation, under international law, the United States, regardless of fault, such as launching state, would absolutely be liable to pay compensation. This is according to Alisa Hadaji, coordinator of a group of 15 international space lawyers creating a study whose very issues. Uh, created to, to study those very issues. Now, the fictional killer asteroid is, of course, highly unlikely. Paul Chodas, the NASA engineer who is a games designer, told AFP, and he said, but we wanted the issues to be exposed and discussed. Astronomers at the conference took the opportunity to defend the NeoCam Space Telescope Project, which would help scientists better identify asteroids and react earlier to threats. So the next simulation exercise will take place in 2021 in Vienna, and Chodas left open the possibility that it will be Europe's turn in the line of fire. In other words, uh, the next time they're going to choose a European city as a simulated asteroid impact site. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.